Hey, welcome to Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and guess what? It is flipping cold out here, but luckily for me, I've got my new swag from uh, Lance at Sleeper Barbecue or Stitch Art Embroidery. Just got the beanies. They're pretty sweet. Today I'm going to light up my little tailgater. Still looking brand new from that mineral oil. Let me get this thing going. All right, today I've got some pecan uh, pellets from Lumberjack going. And tonight what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to smoke up some elk loin steaks. This is actually, uh, it's marked elk loin, so I'm assuming it's the uh, back strap and not the actual tenderloin. I would think that if it was the tenderloin, they would put tenderloin on it. Uh, anyway, that's where this little cut is from. Um, and this is from our cousin Daryl, and he's got a YouTube channel you should check out. He's an awesome musician. His channel is uh, Flat Picking NM, Flat Picking New Mexico. I'll put a link below if you want to go check him out. Hey, check out the elk that he got. Woo! Isn't that a beautiful elk? And this is part of it. We're going to cook it up, eat it tonight. Now, there's all kinds of ways you can uh, prepare your uh, elk loins, elk steaks, back straps. What I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to get a little bit of smoke on these, okay? I know, there's all kinds of ways, but luckily for me, Daryl gave us uh, several of these, so you're going to see more cooks and different ways to prepare them. So tonight, this is just a basic way to prepare elk loin steaks, okay? I'm just going to put a little salt and pepper on them. Like I said, we're going to put it in the little tailgater. We're going to get some smoke on them, sear them, and serve them. All right, let me go inside since it is cold. I'll show you what these uh, loins look like. And I'm just adding some salt and pepper to them. That's it, because we want the taste of the elk. Like I said, you can put, I mean, there are so many ways to prepare elk. This is just a basic way. Let's get this going. I'll see you inside. Okay, let's get these little elk loin packets opened up. They are wrapped in cellophane as well. We'll get this out of the cellophane. I guess I'll just tear this open. And, oh, look at there. We have four pieces about a half inch thick. I thought these were uh, thick medallions, but hey, this, this makes it even better. That's a lot more than I thought it was. Look at that. Look at this meat. It is so just dark red, lean meat. Elk meat is delicious. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to put some kosher salt on each one. And then I'm going to come back and sprinkle some black pepper. And then I'm going to flip them over. We're going to get the other side done and get them out to the ground. All right. I guess I should have opened up those little packets first to find out there were four in each packet. About, probably about a half inch thick. I'm still going to put some smoke on these. I'm going to drop them in the uh, Pit Boss tailgater. Since they're so thin, I think about, probably I'm going to put them in 15 minutes at 225. Um, come out and check them, see where they're at in temp wise. And then uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I've got my little sear plate open already so because I want my grate to be nice and hot. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to throw these on there real quick, get a quick sear on them, and uh, see what they taste like. Let's get these in the tailgater and get them cooked up. Okay, I'm going to set these over here since I do have my flame plate open. Oh, that feels good on my cold hands. <laughs> so we're going to lay some smoke on these. Again, it's pecan from Lumberjack. Get these back a little bit. So they don't fit. Sear them up. Right, just like that. I think, uh, yeah, just for the fun of it, I'm going to stick a probe in this one right here. See how it reads. And uh, we'll be back. 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Probe over on the side is saying 105. I'm just going to check them. It's going slowly. Looks like it's going to get up there. So these are at about 105 right now side looks like. Yep, looks the same. Okay, I think I'm going to turn this up to 400 degrees. We're going to let the fire pot heat up 
I'm gonna close the lid, let it heat up, and then we're gonna move them over, sear them, call them good. All right. Looks like we got some fire. Let's see if we can uh, sear these without overcooking them. Okay, that's about 45 seconds. Flip. Okay, that's about 45 seconds on this side. Take them off and get a quick temp check on them. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but that brought them up to 133. So those should be just fine. Let's move you in there a little bit closer. Five on these. Good. Last two. Side here. I think I'm going to pick this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. Check out the inside. Look at that. What a nice medium rare right there. All right. I am going to cut off a couple little pieces here. Just like that. I'm going to take these outside and we're going to do a taste test for you. Okay, how about that? Tailgater just went off. Had this uh, resting for about, I don't know, almost 10 minutes. Uh, I just brought out two pieces. They are a uh, beautiful medium rare. I can't really tell there, but let's taste one. Mm -mm -mm. Man. I absolutely love elk steak. Elk is so good. <clears throat> but I did bring out two pieces instead of just one so that we can have another taste test. <clears throat> Here we go. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I got to tell you, that elk is so nice and tender. Tastes amazing. Just salt and pepper. Like I said, you can marinate them. You can do all kinds of fancy stuff with them. We'll definitely be cooking them another way soon and it's like 33 degrees out here tonight so I'm gonna get inside I'm gonna have this with uh, baked potato and some salad and some kind of veggie thanks for watching hope to see you on the next video